Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is our weekly astro, tarot, and intuitive forecast for the week of December 16th, 2019. There are a lot of messages that are coming through today and they are freaking specific. So I am, I don't wanna say fingers crossed because I don't rely on luck. I follow my intuition and when I'm in my meditation, I listen to what is coming through to me and I relay those messages over to you guys. So it's not even so much fingers crossed. I'm just giving you guys each a big hug with the message that I am feeling really called to share with you guys today. And it's so interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and just dive right in because you guys know how I roll. But it's so interesting because one of the words that came through while I was writing down the planets, so that's kind of a part of my process is I'll write down the symbols of what I'm seeing um, in the chart and while I'm pulling the astrology chart. And as I'm writing down those symbols, almost like automatic writing, I get kind of like little hunches and different words or different songs or different sounds and tastes and visions that come through to me that I apply to these messages always. And um, one thing that came through is actually the word dehydration. And I thought that was so interesting because in my own personal life, I have been so good at staying hydrated and filling my body up with water and making sure that it has everything that it needs in order to be hydrated and to flourish. That's another big word. We want our, whatever it is that we're setting intention on in all areas of our life to flourish if it's in a positive space, right? But when I sat with the word dehydration and I was like, well, that's a really specific word. Why is that what is coming through? Um, the, the, the background of that was, listen, our human, it's the best metaphor. It's truly the best metaphor because our bodies are capable of doing bing, bang, boom, like a certain set of things. You know, we set goals for ourselves, whether they be physical goals, mental goals, goals for our heart, goals for ourselves spiritually. But if we're not nourishing it, if we're not providing for it, if we're not filling that cup up and not only keeping it, you know, like, you know, filled and then we, well, the, mo the point that I'm trying to say is not, we don't want to fill it up and then let it get back to that point where it plummets again, back into the dry, barren state. We want to make sure that we are doing things consistently, constantly, to make sure that we are our most hydrated selves, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. So we could have the potential to live out a purpose. We could have the potential to live a spiritually full life. We could have the potential to have emotional fulfillment and to give and to receive love. But if we hit that, our potential, if we hit that potential just once and we allow it to dip, if we allow it to dry out, if we allow it to crumble and crunch up, then we're right back to square one and our bodies like our spiritual, mental, physical, emotional bodies strive for balance and they want consistency. They want it to be a routine, something that is not regulated, but constantly given to every day. Like that's your hygiene is to take care of yourself emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically. So it was so interesting that that was the word that came through and that this is what spirit my guides, our guides, want us to focus on this week is making sure that we are hydrated and not dehydrated. As I was saying that, I don't know why this applies, but I was getting ready to film for you guys and I have this beautiful orchid. When I tell you, actually, now it makes sense. When I tell you in New Orleans, I'm a plant girl, I'm a Virgo, I get dragged for it, not read, not dragged, but read for it on uh, Twitter and Instagram or whatever because I'm always mentioning the fact that I'm a Virgo and I love that. But I'm an earth sign and it's my, it's my um, natural tendency to nourish, to give, to provide, and to make sure that people are well taken care of. Um, and we can do so much. We can only do so much with that. When I was in New Orleans, I tried growing orchids, and in Philadelphia, I tried growing orchids. When I came to Florida, which is where I'm at now, currently, my orchids are thriving. Not only are they thriving, these bad boys are blooming, steady blooming. Like every day, there's a new um, flower that, that buds. Now, in Philadelphia, 
I stayed up on my orchids. I stayed up on them with watering them and making sure that the environment was as humid as possible, but I just couldn't. One, I could keep them alive, but they would never bloom, right? They could never hit their maximum capacity. They could never reach their fullest potential. And that's ultimately what I'm seeing now is that sometimes you have to put, it's not only a routine, it's not only a regimen, although those things are very important, but being in a new space, a new environment, a new relationship, a new career, a new lifestyle is all that you need, that change that you need that is going to help you to thrive, to bloom. Now you guys are probably wondering like, Jess, did you pick that flower? Did you pick this flower off of your plant? Uh, no, I didn't. Actually, when I was getting ready and filming for you guys, um, I went to go light my candle and my, let me mute my phone because I get a lot of notifications. But when I went to go light my candle, my orchid, something in the environment shifted and my orchid dropped and it got snipped. So this, and it was a perfect snippation. It literally snipped off perfectly. But anyways, the moral of the story is, even as I'm looking at that, I believe everything happens for a reason, And but I don't like to overlook into things, but I just found this so beautiful. And I feel like many of you guys are getting into a spot in this week, or your focus needs to be, because we are working with endless potential. We're working with energy, right? So um, if that's what it is that we're working with, there's a certain level of things that we need to do in order to maximize, our, maximize the moment. And I feel with this orchid that is being snipped and the metaphor of that, um, and then also with the word dehydration, making sure that this is a new life for you, um, not just a trend, not just a, a thing that, okay, I'm gonna do better now, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna take care of myself, I'm going to maintain healthy boundaries. We don't want this, and spirit does not want, or God, or the divine, does not want this to be something that you do on occasion. It wants this to be your lifestyle, your new normal. And for so many of you guys, this is obvious, but it's also an aha moment, and you are feeling yourself being uh, freed you're feeling your wings expand you're feeling your energy expand you feel really good it's like that that feeling when your body is hydrated and you can feel a difference versus when it's dehydrated and you feel tired you feel sluggish you just can't live up to your maximum capacity and your maximum potential if you're not giving yourself spiritually mentally emotionally physically the things that you need to nourish to provide so that you really can bloom into the orchid the flower that it is that you ultimately are and are striving to be so I do want to say that on the 15th and if you guys are watching this at the time of me uploading um, I, I want to invite you to tune in for Astro Live Chat, which we go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you're catching this on the flip, then you can go ahead and re watch it on the replay because again we go live every Monday at 7 p.m. but one of the major changes that's happening this week and I'm gonna dive into this in more detail during Astro Live Chat um, is Jupiter is meeting up in a beautiful trine with Uranus now this is something that is felt on such a global level but personally I feel like with these types of videos and what you're watching right now I'm feeling like personally these are new structures, new ways of life, new air, like new breath of fresh air. For some of you guys, you literally are traveling um, the land. You literally are on the ground. You are venturing into new territory, actual physical, booking that trip, you know, branching out, meeting new people, experiencing new cultures. For some of you guys, for the other 50% of you, this is new mindset, new lifestyles, things that you've been wanting to do and there's a break in the crack because of something that was once destroyed is now opening the way for you to take that journey, to take that step. And as for many of you guys, this is spiritual enlightenment, this is personal enlightenment, personal fulfillment. You do not want to live an, um, a dull, mundane life. You want a life that is rich with experience. You want to enjoy your life. You're realizing that it's not all about work, work, work. It's about quality of life. Not, and then even with the things that it is that you're doing, you want quality things. These are things that I've been, I've been talking about the majority of this year because it's written all over the chart. It's written all over the chart and it's beautiful. So your structure, your foundation, foundation has been uprooted and uplifted. I feel like my Bahati Vibe Tribe, we've done this together. You guys have seen me talk about in my personal life some major changes that I was going through and how painful it was for me and how transformative it was for me. 
and I, as I was talking about my experiences, you were talking about your experiences. We were commenting down below um, in the YouTube videos. I was, you know, reading you guys' DMs. I was getting text messages of your own personal experiences, getting emails. All of those things could relate. And we were literally walking through 2019 together. I truly feel that way. Um, and I, I, so when I'm saying this, it's not like brand new information unless you're brand new to my YouTube channel. This is not brand new information. We've done this together. And I feel like where you're at right now and where also where I'm at right now is we're in this space because I can relate to this message so much, but we're in this space right now where we are committed to it. We're dedicated to, dedicated to it. It's like we are married to this new life. We're married to this new existence. It was the vision that inspired us to get to that point. But when reality starts to hit and we're actually living that life, we have to get used to this new normal. And this requires us being very strict with ourselves, being very strict with our energy, our boundaries, what we're allowing ourselves to do because we do not want to take steps back. As I'm saying that, there's this huge overarching energy that I'm getting of doubt. And I feel what I'm hearing is you guys saying, or someone saying, am I doing it right? Like, I thought I put my phone on notification, on do not disturb. I'm getting this uh, message of, am I doing it right, Jess? It's like, maybe some of you guys don't even realize that your spirit needs the confirmation and the affirmation so badly. Someone please tell me that I'm doing this right. Someone please tell me that I'm not making the biggest freaking mistake of my life. I need to know that I'm not making a mistake. I need to know that this is all going to be worth it. The thing is, I need you to hear this. I need you to hear this is that you are deviating and you have deviated from the old normal. This is how people have done it. This is how your family has done it. This is how your corporation has done it. This is how you've been doing business. This is how you've been living your life. And this is a new normal. And of course, it's going to feel weird. Of course, it's gonna be an adjustment phase. Of course, there's going to be some, I don't say pros and cons, but some trial and error, that's it. There's some trial and error that needs to occur um, that is helping you to learn. And it's not even a mistake, it's just, that because this is my new normal, I, spirit, the divine, is giving me the opportunity to tailor my new existence, my new life, to fit my needs. And that is so freaking special. It's, I don't want you guys to think that you're making mistakes or that you don't know what it is that you're doing. You are literally, you have like seven of cups. I don't see the seven of cups here. I'll show you what cards I have pulled. But it's like you have all of these different options that are presented in front of you and then spirit, the God, the divine says, which one of these resonates with you the most? Try it on, see if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. If you do buy it, there's a return policy. We're giving you more than 30 days to try it on and if you don't like it, return it. Literally, that's what it's like. So I don't want, I, there's this really strong feeling right now of confirming for you that you're not making a mistake, that you have not made a mistake. This is a new life, a new era, a new relationship, a new vibe, a new territory, a new you in so many ways. So it's not that you want to, it, you would be deceiving yourself and you would be, it's almost like God the divine spirit is so patient and considerate and compassionate with us way more than we are with ourselves, of course. Like I feel like you guys know that already. But it's like we have this, it's where do we get this thought that we have to get it right the first time? Or that if we don't find exactly what we want the first try, that somehow we're gonna miss out. Somehow the opportunity is gonna pass itself. And it's just not that way. It's not that way. That this is the craziest thing, metaphor that I can use in the simple and most modern. But let's say you go to Target and you're trying on different socks. I don't know, I'm just gonna use that metaphor. Um, the majority of us wear socks. So you're trying on different socks and you like this ankle sock, you know what I mean? But maybe, you know, you just didn't, it just didn't vibe, or maybe you did the, the crew sock. So it covers your feet or whatever and goes up your ankle a little bit. But when you're wearing your sneakers, you don't want it to show. So then you're gonna do an ankle sock. So you try the new ankle sock and the ankle sock doesn't, you know, it, it's it's closer, but it's not the look. It's not something that you like. So then you discover the no-show sock, and you're like, okay, this is it. But then you were doing Hanes Her Way, and then you're like, okay, well now I'm gonna switch it up to Fruit of the Loom, or whatever sock brand is out there. 
I get my socks off of Amazon. Don't drag me for shopping at Amazon. I'm just keeping it real 100 with you. So um, yeah, so you try on the no-show sock and you find it, but then you have to try, okay, am I gonna go with Fruit of Loom or am I gonna go with Hanes? And this video is not sponsored by either one of those. Neither is it sponsored by Target. Hashtag I wish. But even then I would probably reject it. I can't tell you how many times I get offers every week for sponsorships and I reject them, especially Keen. Keen keeps reaching out to me, so. I'm sure they're probably like, oh, she mentioned us in their video, finally. No, I'm not supporting them. I actually think that that website and that business is bullshit. So um, <laughs> I shouldn't, I'm the worst, you guys. I'm almost too honest, but, and a few other sponsor sponsorships that I've been, you know, skirting, neglect, n not neglecting, but trying to avoid or telling them like, no, the answer is no, and they keep approaching me. Anyways, back to my sock metaphor, is that there's different, um, you're gonna find different things that you like. If you don't like it, return it. It's not the end of the world. Um, there's, you have time. There's this emphasis I keep getting, last week when I was doing readings for my clients, there is a overarching feeling of, listen, you have time, you have time. There's no need to, no need to rush. You don't wanna just jump. And I wanna say that there's this energy of you are deceiving yourself. It's one thing to lie to yourself um, or have this mindset that is a lie to you, even if it's intentional or unintentional, like it's just a belief system that you have to like rush and race. It's one thing for that deception to be there, meaning like you think it's gonna be this way, but you're lying to yourself. That's not the way that it is. Um, but it's one, it's another thing when that, that mindset, that thing that you're telling yourself is adding more stress, more burden, more anxiety, more chaos into your life. And that's what I want my Bahati Vibe Tribe to navigate away from is this belief system that in this mindset, this um, affirmation, these words of imp like depowerment, I'm not gonna call it empowerment, it's actually taking away your power, that's stripping you of your power, it's this expectation of how you think, how you're perceiving things. Like, oh, look how she did it. Like she, she went here or she, he did this and he knocked it out of the ballpark the first time. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. Maybe there was a lot of trial and error that they experienced that you don't know. It doesn't matter. Maybe they got it right the first time. But that's not the way that it has to be for every area of your life. You're gonna try on different things and there is a, a very flexible, um, space of being fluid and flowing and trying it on and maybe liking it, not liking it and adding it on to what has happened. And for some reason, I wanna show you guys the orchid again. Cause it's just so beautiful. But um, yeah, it's, and maybe that is a part of it. Maybe that's, okay, so maybe that's the metaphor because I was trying, this is, you know, such a simple metaphor, but I was trying to grow orchids because I love them and I was going to give up on growing them because I'm like, I just killed, literally that's the truth. I was gonna give up on, I kept passing by the market and seeing the orchids um, since I've been here. And I'm like, I just killed them every single time. Every single time I try to grow them and I, I follow the instructions, I follow the rules and I, tr I listen to their vibes and they, they stay alive but they never bloom for me. And it just, I keep them alive but I would love to see them bloom. And in this new environment that I'm in, um, my method my method hasn't changed, but the environment has changed. And sometimes that's all it takes. It's a new life, a new environment, a new jurisdiction, a new vibe, a new life. And just because it's failed or there's some trial and error before, doesn't mean that this new area that you're walking into isn't gonna be the resounding success. Like look how strong this plant, this flower is. The only reason why it's in my hands right now is because accidentally, quote unquote, accidentally. I didn't do it, it literally fell while I was lighting this candle. It popped off, it got hit by the lamp and then it fell off and now I'm sharing it with you guys but I feel like everything happens for a reason as I was saying. So let me show you some of the cards that I pulled for us. So in the near past, look at this you guys, we have, come, come on, we have two of cups, we have the star card, we have eight of wands. As I'm seeing this, I hear the word strike. And what I'm getting is like a baseball bat. This is the worst metaphor, but it's the best one. This is how it's coming through. It's like getting hit, you're at the baseball game and you get hit in the side of the head. You get, you, you get, you know, something strikes the side of your head and just knocks you real fast, which makes a lot of sense. And you literally see stars. Like that's kind of what it is that I'm seeing. And that's what I'm feeling is this thing comes speeding in and you see stars, you see lights and your world kind of spins a little bit. And something kind of could derail you. It could be a negative 
thing, meaning negative something that challenges you and or triggers you, or it could be a very thing that you would love to happen in your life. Some of you guys could fall in love for the first time, or you have a moment and experience like, oh my God, is this it? That it being a person, it being the dog that you adopt at the Humane Society, it being a new location, a new apartment, a plant, a new haircut, which I'm like, oh my God, did I just find my new hair girl? And the answer is, yes, I did. Struck me in the side of the head. This is her. She is, she is it, <laughs> right? And a few other things in my life that just struck me in the side of my head where I'm like, wow, wow, see stars, it's a commitment. It's a bond, you're mine. Even in those good golden moments, those things could really cause you to lose consciousness for a moment. They can make you tap out of reality make you tap out of your normal and be like, I'm gonna be the best version of myself because this is what I want for myself. Whatever I have to do to keep this in my possession is what I will do because it is worth it. So that's what I'm literally seeing is that those those blockages, that, that resistance, that same area of your life that you're like, I just don't know if this is gonna see movement, it's going to happen and right now, Spirit is saying, keep going, keep going, keep your eyes on those stars. Don't get afraid by this, don't get spooked by this. Keep building that momentum. Don't deceive yourself and say, well, it's gonna be wrong, I'm gonna mess this up, I'm not ready, I'm not capable, it's not gonna work out, it's not worth it. It's always worth it, it's always worth it. It's you're deceiving yourself by tricking yourself into believing that it's gonna be a one-stop shop. All right, so at the root of this, I am seeing, um, and I do have Romance Angels cards pulled because, which you guys can see right here, pardon me, because this is the connection to spirit, our connection to ourselves. I like to look use these cards not just for romance, but also for our connection with the divine and our relationship with ourselves. Um, at least that's how I use it. That's how I see it. So at the root of this, we have the Judgment card. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Sun card. It's so interesting because as I'm looking at the Judgment card and as I'm looking at the Eight of Cups, I see, again, this resounding doubt, this resounding um, persistent nagging thought of I am in new territory. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I've seen this before. I've done this before. It's gonna repeat, I'm gonna get hurt, this is gonna fail, I'm not gonna be able to do it. It's like me trying to get through statistics. Math, I am the worst at math, like really, really bad at math. And I remember taking the class three times, failing it every fucking time, and my last time I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna freaking pass this. Like there's just no way that I'm gonna be able to get through it. It's the same, and it's like that self-defeating mindset and you know these old ways that i did it it just kept draining my spirit draining my energy granted did i pass the class no you guys i did not pass the class to this day did i pass statistics no i did not but because of that failure it actually rerouted me to do what i'm doing now and i would not have it any other way i know that if i would have continued the route that i was going i would have been unsatisfied I would have been successful, quote unquote, in the eyes of most of the United States, but I would have been unsuccessful personally and unsuccessful spiritually because I would not have been thriving. And that's what it is that I'm seeing back to you guys, is that you're seeing these certain things going on in your life with the judgment, the eight of cups, and you ultimately want happiness, you ultimately want joy, but you're feeling like, I feel like this is a repeat, I feel like I've been here, done this before. How can this outcome that I've seen, how can it have a different end result? And it's just like the orchid, because some things change. There's a newness here, there's an, an energy change, a new life, a new vibe. So that's what I'm seeing is that that is what you're, you don't wanna like look at your past experiences and, and say that, oh, this is gonna repeat. Now there's certain things that you have learned, but you don't want to hold on to all of the, you know, the negative, the deception, this, okay, there's no way this is ever going to work because it never did in the past. You have to keep moving forward. Again, this is like a, a, a dream that you had, a vision that you had, a, a, a crossing of paths or something that comes in and creates stars for you. It's a vision, especially with Jupiter and Uranus. It literally comes in like, wow, you were lucky. It seemed like you were unlucky because you're the one who got hit in the head, but something about that concussion changed your life forever, right? So that's ultimately what it is I'm seeing. And moving forward into the future, you guys, I'm seeing the Six of Pentacles, 
the Hermit card, and the Three of Wands. With this, there is a healthy level of observation, especially with so many of the planets right now, crowded in the signs um, of Capricorn, and also Venus in the, I'm sorry, Mercury in the sign of Sagittarius, Sun in the sign of Sagittarius, Mars in the sign of Scorpio. All, um, yeah, and then we have Uranus supporting us even further in the Earth sign of Taurus. And what we're, we're seeing here is an observation and looking at the lessons and observing. Observing what it is that you're receiving, observing what is being handed to you, seeing it and asking yourself deep questions, deep questions. Is this enough? Am I fulfilled with this? What about this would I change? What don't I like? What do I love? And if I have to ask for more, I will ask for more. If it's too much, I'm gonna ask you to take it off of my plate, literally. And it's that simple. It's this new lifestyle that you've learned of what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and calling it out there and not accepting anything less than that. And all of this comes from your own self-awareness, your own self-knowledge. With that, there is the soulmate card and new love. So I'm definitely seeing, especially with, um, Venus moving into the sign of Aquarius on the 20th, which we're going to talk about this in full detail in Astro Live Chat. And if you are watching this after Astro Light Live Chat went through, then you can revisit it. But as Venus is moving outside of the sign of Capricorn and into the sign of Aquarius, she's more open-minded. She's open to new, new things, new life, new vibes. That's literally going to be the title of this video because that's what I keep saying. New life, new vibes, new vibes, new life. So... It's bringing in new love, new things, new things that you love that your soul resonates with. It brings clarity. For some of you guys, this is an actual relationship. There's so much new, fresh energy coming in, even though it's the end of the year. So many of you guys have this mindset that you're like, it's the end of the year and I'm saying goodbye to 2019. New love's coming for me in 2020. No, new love is coming for you in 2019. Just because it's the end of the year doesn't mean it's the end of your life because your end of your cycle might have been on your solo return not on you know uh, december 31st you know what i mean and starting on january 1st that's when I, i've had an issue with seeing these memes of people being like new life 2020 things are going to be different and i'm like no things are different now why are you waiting until 2020 or why are you expecting the energy to shift when it's actually shifting right now in your personal life so i'm really seeing that right now there's a lot of um, freshness, a lot of new energy, a lot of new vibes. All of, this thing, all of these things are things that resonate to your soul, to your spirit. They're written all over your chart. You're being guided by the, the stars. You're feeling it by the moonlight. That's another thing too that I was seeing is right here. The high priestess has been showing up since freaking Friday night. I was working um, the, full, the full moon oils since Friday night. The high priestess keeps showing up. And basically what this is, it's learning how to work with the shadow work. It's learning to work with the darker sides of yourself and also the world um, and other people. So it's realizing that you can really feel and pick up on different vibes and it impacts you in a different way. Some of you, sometimes you're triggered in a way that feels good. Sometimes you're triggered in a way that feels bad. But either way, you need to observe it. You need to reconnect. And then what you'll see is you'll find, okay, there's a reason why there's a vulnerable spot here for me, a soft spot, because this is mine or this is something that I'm healing from, I'm recovering from. So there is so much newness here. But with that is the new you but aspects of you that are new because of how far you've come, if that makes any sense, of your journey, of your recovery, of stepping into this new life, but also taking what you've learned with you, but not being deceived by it. <laughs> that is the weirdest alarm I've ever heard in my life. All right. So, and then also with the queen of pentacles, this is about committing to it. And definitely with the lover's card ruled by Gemini, this is about, you know what? I'm seeing you. I'm hearing this. I'm feeling this. I'm called to this. Again, it's like you get struck, struck by lightning and you see stars and the sun comes out and you are committed. Right. Then at the top of this, we see the wedding card. So this is just commitment. This is a bond. This is, I choose you. When you get married and when you're in a relationship, it's not always gonna be 
you know, peaches and cream. It's not always gonna be rainbows and unicorns and ponies and glitter. There's going to be moments where it feels like work, but it's worth it if you're in the right relationship, if you're in the right partnership, if you're committed to it, and if your partner's committed to you, and there's healthy boundaries and healthy balance, right? Ugh, see, as I'm saying this, we have the King of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Two of, the two of Wands. What I'm seeing with this, with the King of Swords, is every single one of us is learning to be honest. We're learning how to communicate. We're speaking our truth, not in a way that feels harsh all the time, to certain people, but you're speaking your truth in a way that you've learned to. You're, you're really trying, it doesn't even matter if you're 40 years old or 18 years old watching this video right now, you've learned so much and I'm seeing and sensing this vibe to be the better version of yourself. So you're learning how to communicate and articulate so that you can actually link up, so that you can actually build something better. And that is the work that you are you know, building. That is what you are investing in. You see it, it doesn't resonate with you. You're learning how to speak and have boundaries and say, you know what, no, I can't do that. No, I can't take on more hours. No, that's unfair. That's an injustice to me. That's an injustice to my classmates. That's an injustice to whatever, to the, you know, this population. You guys are learning how to speak up however this resonates for you and do it unapologetically. And guess what you get in return? Respect, you get compromise, you get commitment, you get a solid foundation, and you're building the blocks that you've been holding in your hand all of this time. So back to my metaphor that I was seeing and feeling before with dehydration. This is not something that you just apply for one week and then next week you forget about it. This is your new life, your new vibe, your new vibe, your new life. And as you step into this new life, this new vibe, this new cycle, you need to make sure that you're doing everything in, into place, like everything that you need because you're committed to it, you're bonded to it, and you want it to be healthy, you want it to continue on and last for the rest of your life. You don't wanna be happy just for the month of December or just for the month of January. You wanna be happy until the day you die, which is hopefully the longest, happiest, most fulfilled life, right? So you know what works for you and you're implementing that. It's not staying hydrated and making sure that your cup and that your body is filled or your emotional, your spiritual, or your um, physical self is filled one week and then you neglect it the next. This is a new life, a new vibe. Okay, that's literally gonna be the title of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want ast astrology details, then I would definitely recommend you to tune in to tonight because it's Monday. Um, Astro Live Chat at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or you can check the revisit the replay and um, that will be near is to this video and I will link it down below okay in the meantime I'm sending you all of my love all of my blessings to you I hope that this video reaches you with perfect timing and provides guidance and clarity into your life and I'll see you in my next one bye